so today we are going to discuss using bisection method how to find out the root of the equation okay using bisection method we are going to find out the root of the equation x cube minus 4x minus 9 is equal to 0 so the first step what you have to do is the so the function is f of x f of x is much x cube minus 4x minus 9 okay first uh, what you have to do is the you have to substitute 0 in the function so how much uh, you are going to get 0 cube minus 4 into 0 minus 9 that is how much you are going to get minus 9 a negative value you are going to get what is the value you are going to get it is a negative value you are going to get next what you have to do is the you have to substitute 1 so how 1 cube minus 4 into 1 minus 9 so again what you are going to get minus 4 minus 9 minus 13 plus 1 so you are going to get minus 12 which is also a negative value next one f of 2 so how much you are going to get 2 cube minus 4 into 2 minus 9 so 2 cube means 8 minus 4 into 2 4 into 2 minus 8 minus 9 minus 17 plus 8 minus 17 plus 8 so you are going to get minus 9 which is also a negative value next you have to go for f of 3 3 cube minus 4 into 3 minus 9 that is equal to 4 into 3 12 and 9 minus 21 minus 21 plus 27 so you are going to get plus 6 which is greater than 0 so if you observe from these results first 0 you got a negative value 1 also you got a negative value 2 also you got a negative value <coughs> for 3 you are getting a positive value if you observe these two one is having a negative sign another is having a positive sign two consecutive Fund, uh, values are you are going to get uh, one is negative another one is positive then you can say that uh, the root lies between not minus 9 and 6 the root lies between 2 and 3 when you come across with uh, two opposite values one is negative another one is positive therefore the root lies between what you have to say is 2 and 3 root lies between 2 and 3 so up to now we got the so root lies between 2 and 3 next what you have to do is the you have to draw a diagram re line real line on this one you have to represent 2 and 3 so for 2 what is the sign here negative so you have to rep negative for 3 what the um, sign you are going to get plus you write plus next what you have to do using bisection method we are doing so for that one x2 g equal to formula is x naught plus x1 by 2 x naught plus x1 by 2 that means x naught is this one x1 is this one so therefore x2 is equal to 2 plus 3 by 2 2 plus 3 by 2 how much 5 by 2 2.5 next step what you have to do is you have to represent this 2.5 on the real line so this you come across with 2.5 okay for this one next what you have to do you have to give the sign whether it is a positive or negative sign you have to give for that one how you will get that one you have to substitute that 2.5 in the function therefore 2.5 whole cube minus 4 into 2.5 minus 9 if you do that one you are going to get um, minus 3.375 which is a negative value don't think about whatever the value you are going to why we what we require is the whether it is a negative or positive value here you got a negative value so you give the sign negative for the 2.5 don't place the 3.375 on the real line 
don't place 3.375 on the real end this is useful to give the sign to the 2.5 so what in the here what we have discussed always root lies between two opposite signs therefore root lies between which two signs root lies between this one and this one that means this is no use at all therefore root lies between 2.5 and 3 therefore you write that one root lies between 2.5 and 3 okay so in the next step what you are going to do again you have to go for x3 x2 we have completed next you come x with x3 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 is equal to 2.5 plus 3 by 2 2.5 is this one and 3 is this one 2.5 plus 3 by 2 how much we are going to get to 2.5 plus 3 by 2 2.75 next step what you have to do you have to represent this value on the real line so here if you represent you have to represent 2.75 next step what you have to do you have to get the sign of 2.75 for that one 2.75 you have to substitute in the function therefore 2.75 whole cube minus 4 into 2.75 minus 9 so how much you are going to get for that one 0 0.7969 okay 0 0.7969 that is a positive value we require whether this is a positive or negative that is important so 2 points for 2.75 the value is positive now you with a sign positive sign so now we have the two options whether the root lies between 2.5 2.75 or 2.75 to 3 so where the root lies between already we have discussed the root always lies between two opposite signs therefore this is not useful therefore root lies between 2.5 and 2.75 root lies between 2.5 and 2.75 okay 2.5 and 2.75 after x3 what you have to get x4 x4 is equal to 2.5 plus 2.75 by 2 how much you are going to get 2.5 plus 2.75 by 2 2.625 you are going to get so next what you have to do you have to place this 2.625 on the real line so somewhere here you come across with the 2.625 2.625 next what you have to do for this one you have to give the sign whether it is a positive or negative sign you have to give for that one you have to substitute in this one therefore to for 2.625 if you do that one you are going to get it as negative minus 1.4121 which is a negative value so you have to give the sign for this one therefore here it is a positive sign here it is a negative sign here it is a negative sign therefore the root lies between which two values the root always lies between two opposite signs therefore the root lies between two point root lies between 2.625 and 2.75 okay so next you come across with x5 x5 after x4 you are going to get x5 x5 means so 2.625 and 2.75 2.625 plus 2.75 by 2 if you do that one how much you are going to get 2.6875 2.6875 he is asking to do the problem up to four stages therefore up to you do the x5 and it will be completed okay in this do doing the bisection method always you have to remember that in between the two opposite signs only the root lies that is the main concept here if you know this concept you can solve the problem the root always lies between the two opposite signs okay thank you